Hi folks, thanks for joining me once again today for my short and sweet e-liquid reviews. If you've seen them before, you know they're short and sweet. So we're going to get straight on with these. Now these are three flavours. They are Australian made e-liquid flavours, which is a new thing for me. Don't think I've ever tried Australian made e-liquids. They're made from Oceana Labs. Uh, liquid Labs, sorry. Oceana Liquid Labs. These are very kindly sent me from Bra and Blazer. So massive thanks guys. These are called Luscious, but without the U. Or I'm confused by the name. Luscious. Luscious, but Luscious anyway. I've got three in the range to try out. This one's Banana butterscotch and custard if you know the channel you know me custard but I've, got, I've got real strong fingers crossed for these australian made e-liquids 100 mil course putting your nick shots you know you know you know what you're doing with 100 mil bottles from now on anyway i've got that juice in a drop dead rda on the vapor so gen 200 watts no i've got 100 watts what am i talking about let's give it a little bash a nice rich butterscotchy banana is what i'm getting first of all the banana flavour is very much like Yazoo milkshake. If you make a strong banana milkshake where you put too much of that powder in, all this, all this, the liquidy stuff, I'm getting a really strong banana flavour. Kind of like followed through from that butterscotch, which actually is a little bit stronger than on a knuckle test. It comes through quite nicely as well. The custard is there. It's not like an Ambrosia Devonshire custard. It's a custard flavour. It's just a bit maybe muted from the banana, I suppose. It is definitely there. You can get it, especially on the aftertaste. I'm getting more on my tongue now, that custard flavour. It's definitely there. I think it's just been a little bit overshadowed from the banana. The, it's just the banana I keep getting. Now, banana is quite a prominent flavour, especially when it's this type of banana where it's very milkshakey. Um, sweet level is very good for me. It's nice and smooth. It's nice and sweet, but not crazy sweet. It's quite a nice, enjoyable flavour. Just, I don't know, just a bit uneventful, I suppose. Should we try the next one? Let's see if we go. So, the next one. This one did interest me quite a lot because this is raspberry with chocolate cheesecake, which I haven't tried many of these kind of flavors, these kind of raspberry cheesecakes and white chocolate as well. Chocolate flavor being a very interesting one. But nonetheless, I've got that juice in the Hell Beast by Hell Vape on top of the Lost Vape M200. Centaurus Jobby Wobby Woo, got 100 watts. Let's give it a bash. I'm going to just kind of like coffee out my palate a little bit it's not always the best thing but it sometimes helps just to kind of i'm i'm still getting banana let's try again i feel like i need to drip some more i feel like i need more dripping right what i will say about this one i'm definitely getting a very light um slightly kind of sauce like raspberry which is quite nice um it's the white chocolate and the cheesecake that i'm not getting ample amounts of this is definitely one of those flavours that needs more time with the cotton. That cotton definitely needs a lot more time to get all sticky and all that kind of stuff. Probably similar thing with the actual banana custard as well. This one is starting to come through a little bit better. Very nice and sweet. Nice, sweet, tangy, raspberry flavour. And I'm getting kind of like um, a creaminess from the white chocolate, which is kind of paired with a cheesecake. I don't really seem to be getting much of like a biscuity kind of flavour at all from this. This is more of the creaminess, like a smooth, creamy white chocolate with that raspberry flavour. An interesting one. And not quite, it's not quite what I'd hoped for, but it's still very, very nice. It's quite light and sweet, if that makes sense. It's like, if you had some kind of like a bit of a raspberry cheesecake, a raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake is a fairly common dessert, but you only had a little slice. You just had a little bit with a bit of cream. That's kind of how I'm getting this one. It's like, oh, if I have too much, it's sickly, so I'll just have a little bit. But that's the taste every time. It's just a small amount, which is quite nice. Um, I suppose it is what I would expect, but it's, it's, a, it's a strange one. It's definitely not bad. If that's what you think, it's definitely not bad. There's a nice sweet level from it. The raspberry has a slight kind of tartness to it as well, which is very, very good. Um, I think the more I vape on this one, probably the more I'd enjoy it. Yeah, I think I'm going to give that one a bit more of a go. I'm not putting it down. I don't think it's terrible. I think it's quite good. I just feel like it needs a bit more love, a bit more time. So anyway, let's do the last one. Now, there's a reason I left this one till last, because it's chocolate eclair. And generally, from my experience, chocolates just don't really work very well for me. Or do they work at all? I don't know. You tell me. If you like chocolate e-liquid flavours, I'll be really interested to know your thoughts, because personally, I don't think there's hardly one chocolate flavour I thought, wow, that's amazing. But some that have been okay, but I've never had one that's been like, wow, that's a really nice chocolate. It just doesn't seem to, for me, it doesn't seem to compute very well into an e-liquid. So anyway, I've got that juice in the Dead Rabbit V3 on top of the Top Gear DNA 
250c mod pie. <laughs> my dog pie. Oh, I'm so rusty. That's Christmas for you. Let's give it a bash. It's actually quite nice. Um, it's still, I will say one thing, it's still not that rich, creamy, chocolatey kind of smooth flavour I'm looking for. I'm a Galaxy chocolate fan, so I like a creamy, slightly caramelly chocolate. It's not that, okay? But don't let me put you off because it's got this slightly Belgian chocolatey creaminess to it and a sweetness, like a slight caramelly sweetness going through. Which makes it really nice. I wouldn't liken it to a chocolate eclair, like the eclairs that I can think of. Maybe something more like an actual proper baker's chocolate eclair. Although I'm not picking up many more kind of that, kind of that pastry bakery kind of taste. Let me try again. There is a slight amount of that, but it's more of this kind of... I want to say like hot chocolate powder kind of flavour. If you get like a Cadbury's hot chocolate powder and for whatever reason there's a little bit left on the spoon and you mix that up with a little bit of cream and a bit of caramel, that's kind of what you're getting. Really hard to explain. I'm the worst at explaining this kind of flavour. Um, it's still quite nice. It's actually really enjoyable. It, the sweet level is really, really good. I am quite I quite like where it is. It's not crazy sweet, sweet at all, but it is sweet. And it just helps to bring out that creamy chocolate flavour. Okay, this is three flavours that... I definitely feel need a bit more attention than just two or three or four quick vapes and my opinion. I feel like I need a little bit more love, a little bit more time, a little bit more of that kind of stickiness with the cotton. So I feel like I've been a little bit unfair on these, but also I think they're quite good. Maybe it's just my preference. I don't know. I just feel like they need more time, more love, more vaping. Perhaps I'll do another review. I'll leave these and keep these on the go for a couple of days and kind of come back to them. But first of all, obviously, I'll see what I think of them. But yeah, they're good. I enjoy them. I think maybe they're just un slightly unusual flavours, especially the raspberry white chocolate cheesecake and the chocolate eclair, two chocolatey flavours. Kind of just, yeah, need more love. Still, if you're into the desserts, you're probably going to really enjoy these. So, that's all, folks. If it was, hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it. And a massive thanks to Born Blazer for sending me this over for review. I'm Flag of Vapor. Thanks for watching.